we're gonna try this again. <laughs> Let me know if everybody can hear me and see the slide. Good? All right, if you have any questions, you can just type it in here. Where I put good evening. <coughs> Excuse me, and as we go along here tonight, if you have any questions for me, you can write it in the room and I will answer the questions out loud, okay? Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about how you can make money day trading, how you can earn a living day trading. Really the amount of money you make day trading only depends on what? How much you risk, assuming you know how to trade. So a lot of people make attempts at becoming professional day traders. Some are successful, many are not successful. What is the difference between someone that is successful and someone that is not successful? Well, one of the main things is that people that are successful trading, whether they're day trade, swing trade, do options trades, or long-term investors, is that they have a specific system or strategy that they follow, okay? So I created a method for myself, it took me about three years, 10 years ago, that's really hard to believe, 2008, that was when I began trading, it seems like forever ago, it was 10 years ago. And at that time, I had no idea what I was doing, but one day I traded a gap and actually it was a short and actually I made a lot of money. So I realized that there was something to it in that very specific day in that trade. And I said, you know what? I'm going to figure this thing out. I'm determined to do it. Of course, it took me three years. It took me three years to develop my system, a system now that I teach in a class to other people and I have my own business and my own business is called the stock swoosh. So this is me for those of you that don't know me. If you have questions as we go along tonight or afterwards, you can call me at 929-3200 GAP or email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Skype. So we're getting into the end of the last quarter of 2018. And if you are not at a point where you are ready to close the year strong, why? Have you been working really hard at your job and not getting anywhere? Have you been struggling with your trading? Why have you not met your financial goals if you have not? And if you have, then good for you. Then pat yourself on the back. Then, it, then you can go into the year, uh, the closing the year very, very strong for yourself. But if you're not where you wanna be, it's a good time to evaluate it because you still have three more months. Today is October 1st, three more months left towards till the end of the year, till 2019. It's hard to believe. Um, but a lot of people have not met their trading goals for this year. With nine months gone, you say, gosh, is the whole year gone? No, you still have three more months left to go to achieve what you want to out of the year. And that's not nothing, that's something, okay? Now, we t I talked earlier about the fact that I trade gaps. I'm gonna show you what a gap is. This is a daily chart of BBBY was a play of the day last week in the trading room. And this stock, it had earnings and it gapped down. Now, what is a gap? A gap is the difference between the close and the open. So, the US stock market closes at four o'clock and opens at 9.30 the next morning. Closed up here the night before around 18.80, boom. Open in the morning around 15.40ish. So this gapped down, okay? Stock closed here, gapped down and fell. So this was a short, it was a short on the day. You can also see here the volume. The volume is depicted here below. This was on the 27th of September. So every morning I get up and I try to find which stock that we're going to do preferred short first. So I always go to the short side first in the trading room. If we don't have a good short, then I will look at longs. So this case here, the stock gap down and it was a short, okay? So I developed my own system to rate the gap to determine if the stock is a short or a long and which is the best pick. I prefer usually, 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 usually to do one stock pick a day, okay? Although sometimes every once in a while I will do more than one. So here it is. For those of you, again, if you're not familiar with trading, this is, these are candlesticks and the red bars depict selling action and shorts. The stock price is dropping. So when you short a stock, you're, you're like betting that the stock is gonna drop in price and you can make money with that. If the stock is at 15 and it drops under 15 to 14.50, for example, the price, you'd make 50 cents. 
50 cents times whatever share quantity you take. And that's how you make money as a trader, okay? Now, day trading is you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. You're in between 9.30 and 4, and you're out between 9.30 and 4. So you're, you, you are in and out, and sometimes we're in and out in minutes or even seconds, okay? Most of the time, I'm focusing on the morning period, just so you know. And any questions, again, write it in the room. Anyways, this close, this open, closed up here the night before, open here dropped. It was a short, and here's the move. So it's here, time of the day here is 9.30. Here's the move into what? 10 o'clock or close to it here, 9.55-ish. So you can see here where we opened and dropped is a short move down. So I rated this gap. The gap rated 23 points. So I developed a 26-point rating system. Anything where it's rated 20 points or more, you take it in the direction of the gap. So since BBBY was a gap down, I'm looking to short it in the direction of the gap down, okay? Entry was 1511, share quantity 5000, exit 1463, profit $2400. How long did it take? Not that long at all. The entry was here. Boom. And you get the drop. This was a trade that was less than 30 minutes. I know exactly how many minutes it was 10 12 whatever less than 15 minutes was the trade it was a short quick trade and you could have made over two grand and this is what I look to do every single 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 day okay now does it mean that we get one of these every day no some days there are no trades to do at all because there's no stock ticker symbol like BBBY sometimes there's no gaps like this to do sometimes there isn't anything to do Sometimes it's slow. Sometimes there isn't anything that rates well. But most of the days in a calendar year, there are things to trade. And I'm looking for the best one because that's all you need. You only need one trade like this a day. And some people would be happy making $2,400 a week, okay? Any questions so far? It's the consistency. It's the focus. The focus on the system. And that is how you make money. And that is how you can consistently make money. And that is how you see the results the results meaning to be able to make 30K a month or 20K a month or, or, or whatever amount of money that you want to make. Now, you would have had to be able to take 5,000 shares of this, but BBBY is not an expensive stock, okay? There are many, many stocks that we trade in different price points. You didn't have to take 5,000 shares of this. You could have taken less. You could have taken half the size of this, 2,500 shares, and guess what? You still could have made $1,200. By the way, this kept going. This was not even the low of the day. There were several setups in this. I think the, it went into the teens. I don't know what the low of the day was up to look it up. It was like 14, 12, 13, 14. I don't know, something like that. The stock went another 50 cents on top of that. In fact, with this position, if you'd stayed in it, you could have made close to five grand or right around that number in one single day, in one single trade. But I prefer, this is me, I prefer to trade the morning. So it dropped on down. It took a little bit longer. It took a little bit longer. I don't, I don't know when it made the low of the day. It was sometime late, late in the morning, early afternoon. So you could have stayed in it. And in this case here, you see when it backed up, it was so weak, so weak that it hardly even backed up at all. But you need to know that when you're up this much money, if you don't get out, there's always a possibility you can lose it. So I, again, have a structure that I follow where I'm looking to get out at certain numbers and certain targets, and I don't let the money slip away. Is the direction of the overall market of importance? No. No. And that's another wonderful thing about what I do, because guess what? Ever since I designed this system in 2008, guess what? The market's been bullish. The market has been in an upswing. The market's bullish. That isn't going to change. market made brand new all-time highs today. So no, I've been shorting and making money shorting stocks in a bullish market. So if the market ever turns bearish, then that you know that's great too. It doesn't matter. It's the stock. It's the stock pick. It's the pick itself. Okay. If BBBY is going to rally, it's going to rally on its own. It doesn't matter with the market. If BBBY is going to fall, it's going to fall on its own without the market. If you day trade every day and you're looking at the same stock day after day after day after day, most stocks on any given day will go with the market. But I don't do that. I'm looking at a completely different ticker symbol every single day. One day it could be BBY, then the next day it could be Facebook, then the next day it could be Apple. I'm not trend trading stocks, 
in their trend and I'm not trading the same stock every day or even a couple times a week. I'm looking for a specific move in a specific stock that changes every single day. And it's based on, guess what? The gap. That's all I care about. It has nothing to do with the market at all. Okay. So that is another positive since Sweet asked me that question. Because if you need the market for the move, then guess what? You better be good at reading the market. If you need the market to make money in the market, that you're getting creamed this year. You're getting killed because the market's been tough to read. I've done a good job with it. But a lot of people have been saying the market's extended. They've been saying that for months. And at one point, we almost broke off and fell a couple months ago. We didn't. We held. But the point is, if you need the market, then you have to be good at reading where the market's going to go. I, I'm good at that because I'm good at reading gaps. The market gaps almost every day, and I read the market gap. But that's hard to do. I, I do get that right a lot, too. But many people lose in this type of environment because the market's very bullish and they don't know what to do and every day it seems like they should be going long with something but then it doesn't work and trust me when i say and I, some people have had a hard year we've had a great year in the room but some people have had a tough year because the market has been crazy to me in the last few months it's been very easy to read but early in the year it had an unexpected fall in february and after that i wasn't bullish for a while I didn't change my mind till we got up over a certain area, which was in August. It took literally almost the entire year for the market to make, convince me that we were going to ba be back up and around again. And now I'm very bullish. But as far as the most of the majority of the year, we were, we were in a holding pattern. And it could have gone either way. Okay? And that was a tough period. And that was most of the year. That was Febu February, March, April, May, June, July, August. It was eight months out of the year. Eight months out of the year, the market was in a sideways range bound to me, the way I read charts. And so if you were looking to get the market moves during the, that eight months of the year, you got eat, eaten up. And I'm sure a lot of people did. Where, will there be a point where you would take that same stock long? Are you talking about BBBY? There's nothing to go long here now in BBBY, if that's what you're asking me. I'm not sure if that's what you're asking me. BBBY is not a long, there's nothing to do with this. It was a short on Thursday. That's it. I didn't look at what this did today, but I'm only playing gaps. If this stock didn't gap today, there was nothing to do on this today. I didn't even look at this today. I don't know if that was your question, sweet, or not. We can look at, we can pull up this chart and see what this did at the end, but I don't know if that's what you're talking about, about BBBY. Um... But if you're if you're if you're thinking about taking this to fill the gap, that doesn't work. And that is what a lot of people do: the trade gaps, and they fail, and they lose, and then they don't trade gaps, and then they think that they're hard, and they don't know what to do, and they're crazy. That doesn't work. If you're going to someone that's teaching you that that works, they don't know what the heck they're doing, and they're losing losing money. Okay, don't go along BBBY. I think it's going to fill the gap. Wrong. Delete. Okay. Here was another good one. FDX fell off a planet. Stock post here gap down. Open, dropped, fell. Huge move of the day. 10 points. Again, this is the kind of thing you want to get. And these are the ones we're going to get in earnings season. October, November, the beginning of December is earnings season, last quarter of the year. I didn't look at when this next earnings will be, but this stock can move. It had a huge, huge, massive sell-off. It was a great one. Sweet is saying the same day? No, 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 no. How can you go long and, sh and short the same stock on the same day? You can't have a long bias and a short bias in the same stock on the same day. You cannot. That is impossible. If you train a stock long and go short at the same day, any stock, any stock at all, guess what? You have zero conviction and you don't know what you're doing. You do not go long and short the same stock on the same day ever. Write it down and write it in blood. And if you want to have a higher odds of succeeding, you will follow that rule until the end of time. You have no conviction if you ever, ever, ever do that. Ever. I never do that. You take a trade and loses, you're out, you're done. You don't flip it and go long or vice versa. 
and you certainly don't short a stock and go long the same day. You know what people that do that? People that really aren't good at what they're doing. You have to have 100% conviction that the stock is going to drop or you have 100% conviction the stock is going to rally. You can't have 100% conviction. It's both. You're going to look for, if you take my class and you learn what I know, you're going to look for institutional buying and selling. And guess what? You're not going to have institutional selling come in big and then institutional buying come in big in the same day. That's impossible. So that's why you are not going to do it. If you want to do well and make a lot of money, 300 grand a year, 30 grand a month, what a dollar a day, you have to act and think like you are managing a lot of money because your, your money, your specific account, I don't care what size it is, should have meaning to you as if it was millions and millions and millions of dollars. So you don't want to take crap trades and you would not do that with a huge massive fund and funds don't do that either. So then therefore, why are you going to? What moves the stock? Big money. And big money doesn't sell it and buy it in the same day. Just, just doesn't happen. Okay? That's why I teach people how to think like that, but how to see it, to see it in a chart. There would be no place you'd buy BBY in that day. None. Not if you want to make money. Okay, good question. Anyways, training is you're walking up the stairs to success. You're walking, walking, walking. You sometimes you might take 10 steps forward, five steps back, 25 steps forward, three steps back. This is how it is. You're, you, you know, it's not a straight path. I wish I could tell you, oh, you just do this, 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 this. No, you probably have taken other classes or studied other things before you came along to me. If you want to take my class, you can, but you've probably been on the steps before you met up with me. And sometimes that's what it is. That's the, it's a process. It's a process of getting there. I just put in here the results from August, the month of August and September, and I just have it in here because September was a really small, slow month, but it had some really quality, quality good trades. And here you can see in here the ticker symbols that we looked at in August, and then in the month of September. So this, uh, Apple was a great trade, and that was a long mid-September there, took off the first week of the month. And FDX was a good one. I showed you that one there, which was on the 18th couple days in there there were no trades because it wasn't earnings season in September again it was slow IBM was another quality trade on the 26th and then the BBBY which we reviewed and the big trade was Facebook from last week okay and I will be going over that today so here was Facebook Friday was the 28th the stock gapped down and it was a short so we were in the stock short before the news came out. There was a data breach. I forget the time the news came out, but we were short the stock before that news came out. So then it had a big sell-off, which paid everybody in the trade. But it was already up before then, but they had the big move then in that. And actually, the stock continued lower today. I didn't see how this closed, but the stock continued lower. So the amazing thing about trading my system is you're going to learn technical analysis. You're going to learn how to look at a chart and read the price action to see where it's going to go, if it's going to go move higher or lower. So regardless of news or anything that comes out, anything at all, tweets, news, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you can predict it in the chart, technically speaking, that it's going to go in a certain direction and take the trade before the move happens, guess what? You're going to be able to make money. And sometimes you get news or something that happens that you don't even know about. You have no clue it's going to happen. But lo and behold, it it pays you in the move with the volatility momentum and that's what happened in Facebook on Friday and today again I read that the chart was lower so I called it the option put which we're not going to go over here tonight and then the day trade but it doesn't matter the fact is I didn't know about the data breach people were everybody was in from the morning from Facebook so do you see how it works you get help from the stocks when they're already telling you that they're going to do something, that the rating system that you learn in my class already tells you this is coming up, this is gonna happen, like soon. Could be a couple minutes, could be a couple seconds, could be a couple days if I call an option in it. I, I called both in this. Facebook was a put, and Facebook also was a day trade, okay? And any questions, let me know. Anyways, here's a 15 minute chart on Facebook where you can really see the drop off when the news occurred, however, we were in this, This again, this is the 28th. This is the 15 minute chart. Here's the opening of the day. Here was the low, it was around 162.50-ish. So we were in this trade early, very, very early. Then it dropped, fell, pushed back. Then we took even more, 
And then, I don't remember what time again the news came out. It looks like it was somewhere around here when it completely collapsed. So all of this, again, is paying you if you're short the stock. And if you're long it, guess what? You're getting creamed. Okay? And again, you're not going to go long this in here. You're short it. Your bias is one or the other. You have a short bias or you have a long bias. So I'm going to go over two, two risks. Advanced and beginner for people so they understand. Because I get this question all the time. Do we need a lot of money to day trade? No. You have to have a day trade account. Period. Go set up an account or whatever broker you can. Prop or retail. But if you want to trade size to make this kind of money, I just want to show you one trade one day and this is only 4,000 shares now this isn't a cheap stock but the end train this was 167.40 stop initially initially the first stop 168.60 2,000 shares of the first entry then there was an ad okay risk 2600 with the ad shares then totaled 4,000 so this is like doing two trades in one people which sometimes I allow people to do and I say let's do it because this is gonna work, we're getting the confirmation. And this this all happened before the drop off. This all happened before the sell off. Exit 163.02, again, this kept going another 50 some cents. I forget where the low was, but it really was an amazing trade. You could have made $16,720 in one day. And some people don't make that in one week, they don't make that in a whole month. Some people don't make that in a whole year trading. Now you did have to risk $2,600, but initially you risked less. It was because of the ad that the risk was more. It was like taking two trades in one. And when I do that, I either call it in the room or send an email out and tell people you can add to this. It's a good one. It's gonna, it's gonna go. This is really good. Okay. Where it tells you you can take more risk, which is not warranted in every trade, but in this case it was. Again, I had no idea. I had no idea that news was gonna come out, but I saw it. I saw the selling was coming in. Entry again, if you take a small risk. 167.40, stop 168.60, shares 200, then you double it, you got 400 shares, you could do this, you're risking how much? 260 bucks. If you can't afford to risk $260, you shouldn't even trade one share of something. This is a very reasonable amount for anyone to risk, $260. And the profit in this, if you risk $260, was $1,672. This is a day trade. This is not the option. The option is actually still on, although some people I'm sure probably get out of it today. Stock fell again today, okay? So this is two different things. This is a day trade. The option was another trade, but they were both shorts. Now, when you look at it, the risk to reward in this trade was over six. And if you had held it all the way down to the low, which you know you, some people might have, it was over seven. The point is that you can make this kind of money when you trade, because every once in a while you're gonna get a good one, like like Facebook. It's not every trade, but you will have a couple of those a month, and they really can help you have a big month. And they definitely can help out when some of the trades don't work. You should expect you're gonna have two or three losers, or two or three losing days in a month. But I don't ever trade. I'm only usually calling one thing a day, and if it works like BBBY, we're done. If I happen to call two trades, probably the first one was a loss, and then I call a second trade, and then we do it. Tesla was a loss on Friday. Facebook was the second trade. It was a lean entry when we got in and did it, but I knew it was gonna work, and there was no hesitation on my part. Everything that I do is based on reading the gap and rating the gap, and if you came and learned my method, that is what you would learn too. You only can have a bias in one direction. You can't love and hate the same person at the same time. You either are in love with someone that you're married to or you hate their guts. And I hope you're not married to them if you hate their guts. But you can't be in love with someone and hate their guts at the same time. So think of it like a stock. You either love the stock higher or you hate the stock's guts and it's going to fall and you're going to short it. Think of it like that. Any questions? Anyways, trading, trading is a skill. It's just something you gotta learn how to do and I think people learn all kinds of different things. I have a lot of people that come to me and even the people that come to me sometimes have trouble on learning the things that they learn from other places that are wrong because they've been doing them for so long. But they obviously haven't worked or they wouldn't have come to me. So, you know, think about what I said. Common sense 
common sense rules a day in trading and when you make money management decisions and and a lot of people just flat out do not use common sense when they trade and you need to do that so anyways when i get up in the morning i prepare i rate the gap we usually know we're looking at a trading before the open sometimes i look at it and i see something at night in fact al i had if there's anything tonight you can let me know i'll look at it while we're here i can take a look but i think it's important i think it's important to be prepared and you know i i, I think it's important to go into between now and the end of the year with a very positive attitude like you're going to do it and if you embark on this course and if you want to day trade this is really what you want to do and you really want to do it for a living you have to have a positive attitude about it a lot of people that trade the market have a very negative attitude and so i'm not saying some of that isn't warranted some people have tried to trade and lost money and they feel all beaten up about it you know if you're if you have a negative attitude chances are you're not going to do well you have to have a positive attitude about anything you're attempting. And um, you, you know, you may make mistakes, but you learn from those mistakes. And I'm, I'm a good mentor for people. I, allow my, I let people that come to me and take my class allow them access to me, to talk to me, to email me questions, to call me and ask me questions. I try to do my best to help people and give them advice as we go along. But you do have to take my class to become a member of the live trading room. And I always say, listen to the calls listen to what I say that Facebook trade I don't think everybody held it I think people lost conviction in it I think people got out of it with a little bit of money and then probably were kicking themselves in the butt after they saw the sell-off so I'll have to take a, a, a quiz on that tomorrow from everybody in the room if you want to do this you be working for yourself now personally I like working for myself some people like going into an office every day if, if you want to do this, you can work for yourself and you can work from home. And that is a benefit. And you, and you got to kind of know your personality and ask yourself, you know, what kind of trader are you? Are you, do you have the personality to day trade? Or maybe your personality is you, you, you'd rather do the options. You just want to put a trade on and kind of let it ride out. You don't want to have to manage it in a couple of minutes. Maybe you don't like the idea of going to bed at night and being in a trade. That bothers you. That worries you. So you say, I'd rather just take it and get out in a couple minutes, in five minutes, two minutes, ten minutes. And you feel better about that knowing every day when you go to sleep exactly how much you made. Just, you know, whatever your personality is, kind of, you know, look at yourself and try to figure out what is your personality and is day trading for you or if not, maybe, like I said, doing swing trades are options. Very liquid stocks, yes. Why would you ever trade a stock that's not liquid? If you're talking about penny stocks, I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole and you can't make money trading them. You will lose way more than you ever make even if you take a good trade and make money in a penny stock. They're way too risky. No no hedge funds are, not, are buying penny stocks. So yes, liquid stocks. Stocks that are traded by funds. That's the trades, that's the ones that we do. Stocks you would know, Home Depot, Lowe's, BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond. Nike, stocks that you would know. If you called your mom on the phone, you'd say, Mom, we traded Nike today. And your mom would know. So that's what we do. It's the U.S. market. We're trading companies. We're trading things that people know. We're trading things that people have conviction. And we're trading things that are traded by big institutions and big money. And that's how you can make money. You just ride the coattails of that. How do you think that this was such a good one here? This. Do you think it, you would have ever, ever made 16 grand in, 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 in a day like this with 4,000 shares of anything, anything at all, if you didn't have funds in this puppy on Friday? That's with this whole move, that whole, shoo, that whole move, that whole huge move was just poof, selling. Of course, you want to be in liquid stocks. Again, common sense. Common, common, common sense. And anybody that tells you anything else like that, it's like, oh God, I, I don't want to go off on a tangent. It's like, it's like, it's like people want to hear something. I, I swear, I swear to God, people want to hear something that, that they know is crazy, but they want to believe it because they want to believe it because it is crazy, but they know it's, it's crazy. It's like, it's like you want to believe, and I'm saying you, not specifically anyone here. I'm saying in general, people want to believe that they can open up a day trading account with $200 and make 16 grand in a trade. They want to believe that they can 
train penny stocks and they can buy a hundred thousand shares with a thousand bucks and then all of a sudden they can make 10 grand they want to believe that they want to believe that that's possible people want to believe things that are nuts even though they know that they're nuts but they want to believe it and then they get pissed off that it doesn't work and then they get pissed off that someone told them it was nuts and that person is nuts that person is nuts and told them it was nuts and it was nuts to begin with and the person knew it and so did you you meaning just not specifically anyone here but in general people it is not nuts to think that any trader, any active trader could make several thousand dollars in any of the ticker symbols that I just reviewed that from the last two months or any of the ones all year, okay? Millions and millions and millions of shares were traded every day in all the stocks we trade and they move, okay? And you don't have to take 50,000 shares of them and you don't need a million dollars, but you certainly need money you need more than a hundred bucks and you need more than a thousand bucks. Okay. People want to believe things that are nuts because they are looking for something to, 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 people are looking for, people want, I don't know what it's called, like the golden nugget or the golden bu bullet. They, they want all their dreams to come true in an instant. No, all your dreams might not come true in an instant, but guess what? All your dreams might come true with hard work, a financial investment, and time. So if all of your dreams can come true at some point with hard work, a financial investment, and time, guess what? That sounds pretty good to me, okay? Rather than doing crazy things or believing in crazy things and then getting disappointed, things that if you, if you talk to your mother about, she would say that that's crazy and that's never going to work and you're never going to you're never going to make 16 grand trading that penny stock why did you risk a thousand dollars in it that was silly or forex or bitcoin or any of the things that people have done i mean it's just you know seriously seriously hail mary is right anyways i went off on a small tangent <laughs> galahad if you want to look up if there's anything tonight while i'm finishing up here anyways Going back to what I was saying, you can trade at a prop account. If you don't know what a proprietary day trading account is, look it up. You can trade at a retail trading account. If you don't know what that is, look it up. But either way, it's it's a margin account when you day trade. So you don't need the cost per, per position. So if you take a stock like BBBY, you don't need the full $15 per share quantity. It's on margin. So it's 4 to 1 usually at a retail broker or 10 to 1 at a prop place. Okay? But either way, you're in and out. You're in and out before between 9.30 and 4. Options are different, and we are going to go over one option trade here in a, in a minute. But all of the trading that you do, you do from home. Now, as I was saying, why do people find trading so hard? I was discussing this at the beginning. People second-guess themselves. Second-guessing yourself is taking a long and a short in the same trade, by the way. That's one thing. Focus on the right knowledge. Focus on the conviction. Focus on the directional bias. Focus on what's important. Focus on making money. Okay, focus on the chart, focus on the technical analysis, focus on the things that I will teach you if you if in fact you want to be taught by me. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't don't get swept up in the hysteria, okay? I focus on the first 30 minutes a day, sometimes the first hour we're in a trade. You usually like to be at in and out by 10, but when you day trade, there's no overnight risk. You're in control of your money. No one's forcing you to take a trade or take a certain share quantity. You should always risk, take the risk and put in a stop. The stop hits you out if the trade fails. Okay, I call it a hard stop, but it's a limit order stop. And that helps you because you want to be out sometimes when the trades don't work. Tesla is a good example. Now, Tesla did go on to work and ended up falling then on Friday, but it took a long time and it was way up, way up through the stop before it fell back down again. So it's still better to take the stop. But your returns when you day trade can be incredible because you're in and out so quick, you're trading on margin, and you're getting the quick moves, and you're getting them with momentum. So that's the other reason we're trading liquid stocks. We're trading stocks that we want stocks to be in stocks that move. I usually say a dollar. We're looking for a dollar or more. But some things are like BBBY, I mean, 50, 60 cents it can pay you. You don't even need a dollar, even though that stock did end up going like a, from the tip to the toe, a buck in a day. All right? But day trading is an investing. You're chunking it out. Chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. 500, 600, 1,000, 350, 400, 500. 
you chunk it. So you could take a small account and build it up. It's sometimes you get the big ones. Facebook was one, but it's not every day and it's not every week. But when you get them, you gotta be there and ready and training. You gotta be there every day because you don't know. I don't know. But I don't know how to get up in the morning, okay? You don't know, but it's not investing. Anyways, how much do you need to make to quit your job? I don't know how much it costs you to live. I don't know what you're doing now, what you're making. Your goal should be appropriate though for your risk with the size of your account. So you have to look at the size of your account, determine your risk. And this is after the class. You also should follow the trade calls in the room. If you're going to be with me and do the class, I say follow the calls. But if you break it down, it's approximately $1,000 a day to make about $250 a year, $1,500 to make $300 something if that's what you want to do. But when the trades don't work, you can't get crazy. I say take one or two a day. That's another reason why you should, you should do well with me because you shouldn't be trading all day. You shouldn't be doing five, six, seven, eight, ten trades a day. That's how people hurt themselves too. And people hurt themselves with a small account. They say, well, I'm only risking $200. Yeah, then they take, you know, 20 trades and they're down four grand you can't do that <clears throat> any questions again here was the fdx here was the one minute chart that was the daily just want to show you the sell off here here was the setup happen boom boom so this was back in the middle of september this is the daily we looked at and here is the day trading move do like that that's all you need it's the sell off now I did the breakdown here for again, advanced and beginner. So the advanced risk was 2,600, beginner risk 260. You could have made what? $285. And if you risk 2,600, you could have made 2,850 in a very, very short period of time. I also put on here again for retail accounts and props. You see the difference. For a retail account, you would have needed 61 grand to take this. In a prop account, 24 grand. In the smaller size position here, again, this is an expensive stock. It was FDX, okay, over $200 price point. You would have needed 6,100 on retail. On prop, 24.56. So if people ask me about that as well for the expensive things of which this was. This was not a cheap stock like BBBY but you still could have made almost $300 on this with a small account of around 2,500 bucks in a prop account. You still could have made your goal for the day, two, 300 bucks. And again, if you have a small account of $2,500, that's all that you should be able to expect from yourself. You can't risk a thousand dollars a trade or $2,000 a trade if that's all you have in your account. But I wanna show you it's possible. You don't need a huge account to trade this. You need a huge account to risk a lot, but if you can't afford it, then make what you can because a $300 daily goal will eventually get you where you need to be in a couple of weeks or a couple of months or between now and the end of the year. If you're trying to build a small $2,000, $2,500 account up to five grand and then 7,500 and then 10 grand, you have to start with what you have. And if you don't have a lot of money, then, then it doesn't mean you should not trade it just means that you should take profits and chunk it up and build the account up slowly. I don't know why people do this, but I was just talking about someone the other day. <laughs> he said to me, he admitted, he's like, I have a small account and I, and I tend to be more aggressive. I said, well, don't you see that's completely backwards? He said, I know. He said, I know. But probably a lot of people do what he does. Don't do that. Again, it goes back to common sense. Common sense. Anyways, I usually look at it like, all right, we're trying to get 50 cents. We're trying to get a dollar, what's my goal? So if the difference between the entry and the stop, the risk is 50 cents, I'm looking to make 50 cents. If the risk is a buck, I'm looking to make a buck. So I'm always looking to make one over. So if I take a trade, I'm risking 1,500, I'm trying to make 1,500. If you take a trade, you risk 300, you're trying to make 300. A one flip over, this is a day trading, is good, okay? And especially if you could do that in a couple of minutes. So earnings season starting, banks report next week, there's going to be a lot of trades and a lot of fast trades, and that is one of the reasons that I like day trading, just because it's so quick. You don't have to sit at your desk all day to 4 o'clock. You do not have to trade all day. 
You absolutely, absolutely don't. In fact, I think it's wise for people to be done in the first 30 minutes. But for you yourself, if you're doing this and you're doing it from home, you have to be disciplined. And you know, when I close the trading room, I usually close at about 10.30 in the morning. I say, be done, be done. If you're in a trade and you're up and you wanna manage it, fine. But you know, I'm telling you, the financial freedom that comes with this comes with great responsibility, but it also comes with great reward because you don't have to report to someone else for a boss. You can work for yourself. And I'm telling you, the freedom that comes with that, once you, once you go there, you never want to go back to it to go back to a day job again. You just, you just won't want to do it. So it is worth the time and the energy and the money and the effort. Nothing tonight, Galahad? Okay, that's fine. I thought maybe there might be something I could look at. Anyways, I focus on one strategy, as I said all day. It's gaps. It's called golden gaps. You work for yourself. You work from home. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. I'm in New York. The class, though, is online. It's just a matter of function of yourself and what you're willing to do to get there. But a lot of people trade and don't have a clue what they're doing. I'm telling you, I'm very focused. I'm very good at what I do. It's one of the reasons that I'm talking on national TV. Think about what I said tonight. Think about yourself, your personality, if you think this is something you're interested in doing, okay, whether it's part-time or for your job or career. But my system is looking for a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, a big move, early confirmation, when I get in and out quickly, and a precise entry, which is what you learn in the class in the one minute chart with a good risk to reward potential. Remember, you're chunking it out. You definitely can pay for the class in a few trades or even one trade, depending on your risk. If your risk is small, it's gonna take you a little bit longer. But there are a lot of people that have taken my class that are risking you know, $1,000 or more a trade. You have to follow the system. The system directs you and tells you where to go. If you open up a retail day trading account, you need a minimum of 25 grand. If you open up a proprietary day trading account, you need a minimum of most places of $2,500. So there's your options. You have two choices. It's called a prop account or a retail account. And the difference about the deposits is quite different. One is 2,500, one is 25,000. If you don't know what a proprietary day trading account is, look it up. If you want a referral, you can email me. There's a million retail places, but don't not trade because you don't have 25,000 because there's plenty of prop places out there that you can go to with far, far less. And if you never heard of it, Google the definition. Short of data, I don't know what you mean by that, Galahad. I'll look at it. I'll look at it. I'll look at it if we have time. Anyways, there, this was an option call I called in the diamonds. This was to buy calls. So this was, this was a long, but it was an option trade. Here's the move, poop, and it went up like that. So this was one here, just wanna show you again the difference in the risk and the money you can make in options trades. Same system, rating the gap, playing the gap, but this case it was a long, okay? This only cost 30 cents a contract. This was pretty cheap. So you could have gotten a lot. 8,000 shares is pretty big. Big position here, risk is 2,400 bucks, okay? 30 cents is really cheap, but the stock had the move. I'll go back and show you that in a minute, okay? Ran up, profit was 145. You could have made $11,600, almost a 500% return on investment. No margin required. So in this case, to do options with my system, you don't need a day trading margin account. You need whatever you're gonna risk. If you're gonna risk $2,400, that's all you need in the account. It's nothing to do with the cost of this. I mean, uh, with the price of the stock. It has to do with the cost of the option. So here was the move, right up there. And here was the trade, just before I show you the, the beginner one. It was the 260s and the 265s, but that was the 260s. This trade is already over. I'm just showing you here the potential and how the stock moved up. So here's the move. It got almost to the dream target in the time I called the trade. Here it is, poop, okay? And that's what you're playing. Again, you're playing momentum. If you only risked $240, you could have made 1,160. This wasn't even the high up to 260, 750, 268. It wasn't even the high up there. But anyway, it's a beautiful trade. You take the position, you're in, you're out. You don't need margin to do this, it's for options. And that was the call. So if you're in the option letter, you get these trades emailed to you. If you're day, if you're day trading, you're in the room doing the day trades. You can do both. One, you need a margin account. One, you don't. One, you need an account to actively day trade. One, you need an account to do options. Same system. 
Some are puts, some are calls, some are long, some are shorts. Mostly we do shorts for the day trades, all right? But anyways, how much you make is how much you risk. It's how much are you risking. You just have to be consistent with what you're doing. Anyways, my class is called the Golden Gap System. It's a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when, and what direction. Because that's how you're going to make money. You wouldn't make any money if you were long Facebook on Friday. Or BBBY the other day either. Okay? You have to be in the right direction. That's so important. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock, and that is how you're going to make money. One strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. That's it. That's all that I do. But the time frame, whether you do swing trades, options, or day trades, it's the same system. That's the beauty of it. Okay? So whatever works for you, for your timing, for your finances, okay, whether you want to open up an options account or a margin account, you learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps, and you don't need to do anything else. If your reason to do this is making money, my system will make you money. And by the way, Philip, how much are you up in that Facebook trade today? Since speaking of money, since we did that video last night, I haven't posted it yet. Philip is a student, <coughs> and he's in the Facebook puts. He was up $1,000 Friday. What were you up today when it was dropping, Philip? Write it in the room while I'm continuing to talk here since you're here. Anyways, look at your schedule. If you can trade between 9.30 and 10, that's the time you got to be in the room, Eastern time, okay? Also, if you'd like to be in and out quick, you want to work from home, and if this is something you want to do for a career, it's not like you have to do it for a career. You can have another job on the side. You can, you can have a business on the side, but it's a way to make extra money. So extra money is always good, extra money. Anyways, my class is called the Golden Gap Course. The class is this week in October 6th and 7th from 9 to 5. This is the October class. Cost of the class is $54.99. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. I'm doing a combo, Golden Gap and Trends course. Class tuition is $59.99. The class is online. Again, this class for the trends is October 22nd. So you save money if you do the combo. The trends class is for long-term trades or swing trades. Philip, are you there? You're not answering me. How much were you up today? You don't want to tell me. You're up more than you're up Friday. You're up $1,900. What were you up at the high? The high of the option chain today? $1,900? When it was at the low? Anyways, I'm running this one last big special before my new website rolls out. The last special I'm ever going to do for the trading room of the options letter. It, it, you're gonna, if you sign up for this class, you will have the one year free in the letter, one year free in the trading room. Normally these are separate fees for the options letter and the trading room. You get them free if you sign up for the class this weekend. Friday is the deadline. You get all my calls for an entire year. No exceptions to this. The new website's coming out and then all the products and services are going to be online and the class price is going up. You have 1900 so far. Yeah, but I, I saw that, Philip. But was that at the high of the option chain today or is that in the close? Here, we'll pull it up. Any questions from anyone? If you want to trial for this week, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or info at thestockswish.com. Oh, you weren't watching it all day today. Oh, my God, I'm shocked. Well, good. I'm glad. If you did not watch it all day today, then you're getting you're getting better. Let's look at it here. This looks great. So low in this year today was 161.26. So I called two trades, and Philip has two, the 155s and the 160s. So this looks great. So Philip is going to make 20 grand if it drops down in there and, and goes to the number that we think. So let's see. I'm rooting for you. It's going to be a big one. Let me look at the one you have out for here tonight. SFIX. I'll look at those later. SFIX, is this gap? Oh, Stitch Fix. Um, stitchy Fix. This. This is not out that long, 
but it is almost out of year. I don't know. Well, I'll look at this tomorrow. I'm not going to make any decisions on this tonight. I'm not going to rate this here tonight. I'm tired. I, I'm not going to say I'm not going to do it. You're right. It doesn't have a long history. You're right. But this is rateable. This is rateable. It's, it's, this has volume in it. Let's see what it was today. I don't know if this is going to be good or not, but I will take a look at it tomorrow morning. Yeah. All right. Any questions from anyone about anything whatsoever here at all? Anything that anyone wants to go over? Again, here's my information. If you want to trial this week for a couple of days before the class, if you have questions, call me. If you have questions, email me. Philip will look at all those tomorrow. Any questions from anyone else? Listen, thanks for coming, everyone. Email me if you'd like a trial, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you.